Hello friends and respected viewers welcome all of you there is a simple question in front of you in which a is given as 9 units ef and fc are given 3 and 12 units respectively ae and fc are parallel ae is perpendicular to ef and ef is perpendicular to fc and we have to find the side length of the square so now from where do we start to solve the question it is a matter of thinking and if we somehow find the length of the diagonal ac we can get the side length of the square to find the diagonal ac we have to join ac and then we will see which two triangles we will take in consideration and prove similar so let us join ac first if we join ac we will get two triangles let this intersection point be g in these two triangles ag and cfg this angle e and this angle f 1990 it is given in the question and these two vertically opposite angles are equal and these two we can say that alternate angles are equal so by a a test of uh, similarity these two triangles are similar now for similar triangles corresponding sides will be in same proportion so the ratio between fc and ae would be same as the ratio between fg and g so since these two triangles are similar fc by ae is equal to fg by g and that is what fc by ae is 12 by 9 f g by g e so if we take f g as 12 k then g e will be 9 k where k is any constant so we can say that f g is equal to 12 k and 12 k 9 k so we can cancel by 3 so 4 k 3 k But f g plus g is three. All f c length is given as three. So four k plus three k seven k is equal to three, and we found k as three by seven. Now this f g is equal to four k. So four into three by seven. So this is twelve by seven. And this g e is equal to three k, and three k means three into three by seven, nine by seven. now we can use pythagoras theorem to get gc and uh, ga and after getting gc and ga if we add we will get diagonal ac so by pythagoras theorem gc square is equal to fg square plus fc square so we need gc so gc square is equal to 12 square plus 12 by 7 square if we take 12 square common so will be 1 plus 1 by 49 that is 50 by 9 and therefore gc is equal to square root of this 12 by 3 50 by 49 So twelve by seven. Root fifty is five root two, which is sixty root two by seven. If we use Pythagoras theorem in this triangle, then A G square is equal to nine square plus nine by seven square. And if we take nine square common. it will again be 1 plus 1 by 49 so 50 by 49 and therefore ag in this case will be 
नाइन बाई सेवन फाइव रूट टू नाइन बाई सेवन इंटू फाइव रूट टू नाइन इंटू फाइव इज फोर्टी फाइव रूट टू बाई सेवन सो ए सी विल देयर फोर बी ए जी प्लस जी सी ए जी प्लस जी सी विच इज सिक्सटी रूट टू बाय सेवन प्लस फोर्टी फाइव रूट टू बाय सेवन हंड्रेड फाइव रूट टू बाय सेवन रूट टू बाय सेवन तो दिस सेवन एंड दिस हंड्रेड फाइव विल गेट कैंसल्ड इट्स अ फिफ्टीन रूट टू सो ए सी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन रूट टू यूनिट्स Now diagonal we found fifteen root two to get the side AB or BC. Let us suppose this is x, so this will be x. This is ninety degree. So x square plus x square is diagonal square. So two x square is equal to AC square. So two x square is equal to fifteen square into root two square is two. So two and two will get cut. X square is equal to fifteen square, so x is equal to fifteen. We can say that length of the side of the square AB will be fifteen units. That is the answer.